Assalamualaikum gentlemen gentlemen today we are going to cover the topic of the initials interview basically the initial interview is more or less the final process after which you are given the ISSP form it is also the place where most of the candidates fail as well this is why this is a very important phase a very important hurdle between you and the op uh, the ISSB so we have to be very careful here that is why we are making this video entirely in english as well you see the medium of medium of communication within the armed forces which is pakistan army navy for navy and air force is english that is why we are going to make this video in english now gentlemen in this situation let's first go over the basics to understand the basics for the interview we have to go over to joinparkarmy.gov.pk over there in their basic section for pma long course they have the details for the interview now i'm going to read the details from here aur saath hi saath aap logon ko ye bhi batate chale ki hamari is waqt ek discount offer chal rahi hai 1500 ke andar 1500 ke andar hum log aap logon ko pma long course 155 ki puri taiyari karwayenge jahan par hum log aap logon ko verbal non verbal academic क्लासेस और नोट्स के थ्रू उनकी तैयारी कराएंगे और साथ ही साथ आपको इंटरव्यू की भी तैयारी करवाएंगे जहाँ पे आपको इंग्लिश आपकी ठीक की जाएगी अगर उसके अंदर कोई इशू है अदरवाइज आपको साथ सवाल शेयर किए जाएंगे आपके साथ वो बाय डेटा फॉर्म शेयर किया जाएगा आपके साथ ऐसे के टॉपिक्स शेयर किया जाएंगे उनको चेक किया जाएगा रेगुलरली आपके काम को चेक किया जाएगा टेस्ट होंगे आपके तो अगर आप अपनी इस ऑफर को अवेल करना चाहते हैं तो अभी जीरो थ्री वन जीरो सेवन जीरो टू फाइव एट फाइव सेवन पर हमें कॉन्टैक्ट करें और फिफ्टीन हंड्रेड के अंदर इस ऑफर को अवेल करें ताकि आप पी एम एल ऑन कोर्स वन फिफ्टी फाइव के इनिशियल की पूरी तैयारी हमारे साथ पूरे अहतम के साथ और ईमान के साथ कर सकें कैंडिडेट्स क्लियरिंग रिटर्न मेडिकल एंड फिजिकल टेस्ट वुड बी फाइनली इंटरव्यूड बाई दी सिलेक्शन एंड रिक्रूटमेंट ऑफिसर और सिलेक्शन एंड रिक्रूटमेंट ऑफिसर इंस्टेड ऑफ ब्रिगेडियर बाई दी फॉर्मेशन एंड साइकोलॉजिस्ट Before interview, every candidate will be required to write an essay of ten lines in English and Urdu. Plain paper to be issued to candidates before interview for English and Urdu essay. Topic of the day will be reflected on the board in exam hall slash room. Selection and recruitment officer will write pointers of every candidate appearing in interview. Each candidate will be given marks out of twenty. A candidate securing less than twelve will be considered failure and will not be given inter services selection board ISSB form. following guidelines are given for conduct of interview now there are these six guidelines plus a seventh additional guideline that we will discuss at the end let's first discuss the first guideline expression and confidence in english and urdu they haven't said english they have said english and urdu yani urdu aur english dono ke andar aapka confidence kitna acha hai ab yahan par agar hum do zubano ki baat kare iska matlab kya hai main aapko batata hu once you are talking to your officer in front of you the officer who is taking your interview the entire panel <coughs> including the psychologist if they are talking to you talking to you in english you are going to talk back in english if they are talking to you in urdu you are going to talk back in urdu this is what the english and urdu thing means now the expression and confidence they didn't say pronunciation they didn't say grammar they said expression and confidence you have to be confident in your tone in your english you need to make sure that your tone is influential your tone is recognizable your tone is distinguished it says upon itself that sir this is national this is why i am and i am confident to become an officer basically you are going there to become an officer right so you have to sound like an officer as well make sure that you start preparing for that preparing to become an officer is not an issue in the sense that you need to make sure that you are well equipped with all the knowledge that comes with it of being an officer expression and confidence are very impo- very important whenever it comes to english or urdu the second pointer is educate knowledge about current affairs gentlemen the most recent current affair is the palestine and israel issue the conflict between the two countries where israel is absolutely terrorizing they are basically committing terrorism in the state of palestine you need to have proper knowledge on that topic you need to have knowledge on the topic of kashmir over the topic of cpec as now cpec is once again gaining popularity as our ministers are once again engaging in talks and negotiations with china you need to also look over at sports in sports currently olympics is going on so by the time one long course 155 rolls around olympics would have ended and there would be different other competitions going on but you need to have some understanding of your sports related 
in Olympics. So basically, if you are a very, if your hobby is running, then you need to know who won which medal in Olympics in the running categories and the track and field categories in the Olympics. So adequate knowledge about current affairs, then there is the adequate knowledge about geo and Pakistan studies. Now here they are talking about Pakistan studies. Over here they are talking about the governors of different provinces, the chief ministers, your chief justice, your armed forces and their chiefs. They are talking about our president. They are talking about our prime minister. Basically all the entire Pakistan studies. It also includes the history of Pakistan as well. So basically, for example, when was the Pakistan-China border agreement signed? 1963. Which president, under which president was this agreement signed under under president field marshal ayub khan so basically you need to know the history and the entire pakistan studies topic and the adequate knowledge about geo as well so basically we are talking about all the entire world on one end a general knowledge about the world and a very clear knowledge about pakistan studies studies this also includes uh, extensively it also includes the islamic knowledge as well so if you are a religious a very religious and pious individual then you need to have knowledge in accordance about the religion as well. And then there is the overall outlook. Whenever we are talking about the overall outlook, we are talking about your mindset, the way you think. Basically, they need people who are optimistic. By optimism, optimism we mean that you don't have to show them fake positivity. Let me give you an example. You will be able to understand very clearly. Let's say you have failed an exam. It was a very important exam. What will you do? Fake positivity will say, that I don't care. It's okay, sir. I have failed exams. Sometimes we fail. Sometimes we pass. I don't care. That is not the right answer. You are being irresponsible. You are not being positive. If you think you are being positive, think about it again. You are not being positive. You are being irresponsible. The correct response or the most relevant response, the most best in the sense that the most desired response will be, sir, I know I failed the exam. But sir, it is my mistake. I take the responsibility. I will work upon myself. And that will in turn in the future, I will take my attempt again. So please or anything, I will take my attempt again. And make sure that this time I clear the exam without any issues. I will make sure that the way I work upon myself, that will in turn in the future work for my result. So basically outlook, overall outlook is being looked at on this fourth point on your fifth point extracurricular activities including sports and hobbies basically if you've written your hobby is gardening you need to know about all the ins and outs of gardening if you've written that your uh, you are habitual of sports which is cricket or football or anything you need to have knowledge about that as well any other aspect as deemed appropriate by the panel so basically in the panel there is the most senior officer and then there is the psychologist as well so basically uh, any other aspect as deemed appropriate by the panel if the panel thinks that there is any other aspect that they need to gauge they can do that otherwise uh, these are basically the points that i've discussed earlier these five points are basically the main points the last point is the recording of interview of every candidate through cctv be in show be ensured by all a uh, army selection and recruitment centers and same be shared with pa dte on cds on weekly basis so basically the interview details will be forwarded and shared uh, in the department of army and they're going to record your interview as well so make sure that you know that as well and uh, but uh, once again this should not be an issue if you have covered all the points that i've discussed earlier then you will not face the issue of being too nervous or anything of that sort once again expression and confidence in english and urdu they're not talking about pronunciation they're not talking about grammar expression if your pronunciation isn't good if your grammar isn't good, doesn't matter. It The confidence on your language matters. Adequate knowledge about current affairs. You need to know what is happening in the world. Adequate knowledge about geo and Pakistan studies. You need to know what is happening in Pakistan, what has what has happened in Pakistan, what is going to happen in Pakistan, and what is happening, has happened, and will happen in the world. Overall outlook, you need to be optimistic. You don't have to be fake positive. They will much rather take your honest answer than rather than taking your fake answer or fake positive answer because it will then render you from your consideration for your ISSB. Then there is the extracurricular activities, which include sports and hobbies. So basically you need to know the details if you like to play chess, for example. For example, I like to play chess, so I need to know the details of every piece, uh, every position in the board, board all the main uh, players of this game. So I need to know all those details. 
then there is any other aspect deemed appropriate by the panel basically if they think they need to ask you any other thing from their side they will otherwise in the end the recordings will be basically shared among the department and before even doing so on the same day you will get the details if you have passed your interview as well so basically gentlemen if you need to if you want to prepare for your interview you can basically do that with us in 1500 we are offering you the opportunity to prepare you for your interview as well within 5 to 6 sessions you will be well equipped with all the knowledge that you need to know to prepare yourself for the interview i will sit down with you face to face uh, not face to face i will sit down with you one in doing one to one sessions with you and make sure that you are well equipped with all the knowledge that you need to know to pass your initial interview apart from that gentlemen this is all from our end i hope this video was helpful all the details are taken from the official website of pakistan army join pakarmy.gov.pk you can also visit the website and take the details from the website as well with that gentlemen it was really great talking to you i hope you have all you all have a wonderful day and with that gentlemen good night take care allah hafiz and pakistan zindabad